matar, saps? Suposo que han posat... Sense cops. Fos. It's mid-October and it's a bit weird, but the Champions League is back. Today we start the Champions League brand new season and it's happening here at Camp Nou against Faren Vaders. A quick reminder of what happened in the Champions League draw. We got drawn into the group G, like Georgina, and by the way, there isn't this lakes around here with names. I swear to you, there's one with mine in my family and it's gotta be around here because that's the zone. One day I'm gonna try and find it out. But whatever, what I was saying is that in the Champions League draw, we got drawn against Juve, against Dynamo de Kiev, and against the Hungarian team that we're facing tonight, Ferenc Varos. And although this will be our first official clash with them, it's definitely not the first time we play them. We have played them in friendlies, and we also have like a long history with them. For example, Fubala was one of the huge players before he came to Barca, and that's the reason where there's going to be a flower offering before the game starts, like one hour before that. Yeah, at the stadium, I'll try to make it, but I'm not sure I will be able to do so. Come on, it's so beautiful and it's even more beautiful than Champions League night. Espera, Juan Cobo, el gran profeta que todo lo sabe. Es mucha presión. Juan prepares his prediction. Let's have a quick look at the to-do list today. We have interviews with our assistant coach, with Alfred Trader. We have Guillermo Moore to interview too. We have to do Instagram. We have to go to the players' arrival. We have to go and see if we can pick up some footage from the flower offering. We have to cover the match and then the post game. So there's a lot of work to do. Let's get to it. players behind me and what they are doing at the moment is something very common when, when the different teams come play at Kano and, and that's that the players always tend to take pictures, FaceTime their friends and families and they are when they are on the pitch. Who would you FaceTime if you were to step on the pitch of Kano before playing a match? <laughs> Prediction? Yes, yes, yes. Hi, fun, like me. This wasn't there in the previous games, it was not there in like this one. That did change. So well, there won't be any kids making it fly during the anthem, but it's nice to see it back. Blau Grana. And Ferenbaris was founded in the same year, you will see that because it's in their crowd. How are you doing? Shaking because this was my first time doing this kind of interviews. It's usually Mark. It doesn't look like it was the first time. Thank you. Yeah, you look relaxed. <laughs> with the interviews with Alfred Trader and Guillermo Amor and they both agreed it is important to win but it is more important to play football and today we'll be facing a team we don't know that much about especially because we have never faced them but they are here for a reason they've been huge teams in their road to this season's Champions League and we know that they like to play football that they are very physical so it's definitely going to be a good game tonight at Camp 45 minutes to kick off Season. The excitement is here. It's very and Farish today. It's going to be Juventus and Dynamo Kiev after that. Definitely not going to be easy, but we need to be optimistic and we're going to be there fighting. This is brought to Istanbul season two. Oh, That's Alesh giving the Ferran Varus lineup. Vodka. Vodka. Vlasic. Vlasic. Young, 
Alish always prepares the names of the rivals so that he tries to have the best pronunciation as possible. He even used to have a translator, professional translator in his booth so he would pronounce the rivals' names perfectly. That's ours. Can each. Second corner pick in six minutes. That means that we're attacking, that we're creating chances. That's good. Very, very good play from Ferran Barres. Crying from the back. It's critical. They were offside, but we need to be careful about that. Come on, 10th minute of game. First time that they get close to our box. That one. That's close. There was a yellow card shown, but it's going to be messy. And the goal. That's us. 1-0 over Ferran Barres. That messy goal from the penalty spot. We won up. Tower to up. Now, finally. That was a very, very, very good combination. Let's see if we can end it. Godinho, goal. That was a very, very good combination over there. Ended up on the side of the small box for Coutinho. Didn't hesitate, shot and got into the goal. A 3-0. That is amazing! That is a fourth goal for Barca and it comes from Pedri who gets his Champions League debut and a goal. This doesn't get any better. Both Trincao and Pedri have had amazing debuts. So first they didn't get the chance to score a goal but that is amazing. You got your prediction right again! What were your first thoughts when you were told that you would start today? I was very happy, of course. Uh, I always want to start uh, a game for Barcelona. And yeah, it's Champions League, the beginning of Champions League again. And uh, yeah, after the great game. Do you know what song this is? I would be very happy if you knew. That was the game. I think we saw very good stuff from Barca today, especially right after the second half started. Also the very, very beginning of the game. Obviously it's a 5-1 win. There's nothing, almost nothing bad that you can say about it. For Envar is surprised maybe because of the way that they were attacking us. And I think the saddest note from today is that we won't have Piquet for the Juventus game. But yeah, that's it. Manita win for us. And now it's time for El Clasico. We'll be here again on Saturday, one hour before that. Barca Live. You'll be able to follow us on Twitter, on YouTube, on Facebook, but you know that by heart. So, everything from Come Know. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like, a thumbs up. You can subscribe to Barca's YouTube channel. Don't forget to follow us on social media. And we'll see you soon with more Champions League content. Bye!